Hey guys, look, Andrew Dwight here. Hey, advanced roofing, it isn't as easy as you would think in any program. Roofs are difficult to do. However, we do have an easy way to do it, but it's gonna take a little bit of concentration. So just uh, see if you can keep with me here and you might wanna watch this video back a couple of times. What we have here is a roof that is has one pitch here and a different pitch here, okay? So essentially this here could be 45 degrees, and this could be 40 degrees or 90, 16 or whatever it's like, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna to explain to you what that means. So if I just created a normal roof, I'm just gonna go right click roof, create roof. I'm just gonna pay attention to a couple of things and it's to do with pitching points or the distance above the top plate. Uh, so I've got my 25 degree pitch here at the moment. As I said, you can use pitch or ratio or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just using this because I use metric. Right, and I have overhangs and everything that goes with it and so on. But one thing that's really important is the height of the rafter, okay? The height of the rafter, and if you hit, hover over these things on the left-hand side, it will start to help you explain what Pluspex is actually doing. It's actually making it the height of the rafter above the top plate or the pitching point. Uh, so this distance here needs to be the same uh, on what, no matter what type of roof you're going to use. And you also have a batten height or a sheathing height, which is the thickness that sits on top of the rafter that the roof is connected to. Now, both of those are really important to get right so that you can have your roofs drawn correctly and all of your overhangs and uh, your drop-off, uh, which your drop-off is essentially the distance that Eve hangs down at the wall. Uh, correct. Okay, so I'm just going to go submit here. And essentially what that's done is it's created my roof above the face, the distance that the rafter was going to need to be done. So if I went place and I just stuck a, a, a section through here, you'll see probably what I'm talking about a little bit better. Right. So this is my overhang. This is the rafter height. The distance from here to here is the rafter height plus the uh, the batten height or the sheathing height, okay? And in this particular one, I've obviously got uh, a, a sarking or a, a waterproof membrane in this particular one, just because that's what I selected. I'm just gonna go Control Z and I'm gonna undo that. Now, if you just wanted to create a roof with the same pitch, just basically create the shape of the face of the walls, the height that you want it to do, and essentially you can go and create your roof, and it will automatically create what you need it to do. Uh, with a valley in there and the same fascia height. And if you needed a Dutch gable, you could select it so you want a different fascia height. You can go roof, add dormer, and you can go along here and say, okay, I want a dormer here, and bang. Right, now you have two different fascia heights. Now, obviously, you're going to want to do some form work to get yours the right height, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about having these roofs at different pitches. Okay, so I'm going to go delete. To do that on here, I actually... First things first, I probably need to know where my roof's gonna come out. So I'm just gonna hide this for a second. And then I'm gonna say, okay, well, I want my roof to come out, say, here, at, at a different pitch. So I'm gonna say 30 degrees in this, this instance here. I'm gonna draw a line through the center as well because I'll actually need this later. Uh, it's gonna go over here. Right, I'm gonna unhide, edit, unhide my roof. Last, okay. And now what I need to do, because I'm going to go in at two different pitches, it means that when we look at a rooftop down, it's 45 degrees. These are always 45 degrees when the pitches are the same. And obviously, if this pitch was lower, the roof would come out further. If the pitch was higher, it would be in closer. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of formwork stuff here to make this work. And formwork, when I refer to formwork, I just mean basically what I do is do a couple of things to work out the measurements because I'm too lazy to do the mathematics. Now I've selected my roof and I'm going to go remove roof face. I'm going to select this face and I'm going to remove it. Go submit, right. And you'll notice that by default it opened up this other dialog here. Okay, and this is the shed roof tool which you can also access inside of your roof tools, shed or skillion roof. And this one here is at 30 degrees, which is kind of helpful for me. I still have the same overhang and I still have uh, uh, everything else that I, I require, um, but I just needed to know at 30 degrees, where is this roof going to intersect with this roof? So I'm just going to just quickly do use this as formwork, basically. I don't really care about my overhangs. I don't care about 
I do care about my overhang here. I don't want an overhang at the top of my ridge, and this will make sense in a second. So I'm just going to push Control. And the way that you find out how to do this is down the bottom down here, it says click at the start point or press Enter to complete loop. Uh, control equals enable, disable, overhang. Now, Control may be something else on like Mac. I do apologize. My Mac skills are lacking. And I was going to go to here. Right. Essentially, now what I know is where the center of my roof is. Okay, and I'm also going to want to know where my intersection point is here, right? And and it's the same thing. I really don't care too much about anything. This is formwork, right? So I'm just going to go from here to here to here. You'll notice that there are some 45 degree lines there, and that's just so it makes it easier to to figure out where things are. Right, and I'm going to actually draw a line along the center of my ridge and I'm going to come in until I get to my roof and bang. I now don't care about this other geometry. I'm going to delete it like this. All I wanted to know was where a 30 degree roof would intersect a 25 degree roof. Actually, I made a mistake there. <clears throat> I'm going to have to undo that, right, because I made this roof 30 degrees and I actually wanted this 25 because this is 25, right? So roof edit roof and go back to 25 degrees. So you can see there's a few steps involved here, but it's not rocket science. It's basically just using the logic, I guess, that we would normally do. And as I look along there, yes, that planes, but therefore this line was going to be too short. And we get a line back across here and I hold shift until it hits that little red dot and it's on the intersecting plane, okay? Now I can delete these two. Bang, they're gone. I'm going to draw my line down vertically until it intersected here, which means I no longer need this line anymore. I can also do here and here. And this is the manual way and something that I guess I was sort of taught, uh, <clears throat> I think way back at school is you know how to intersect the geometry and so on and how to get your angles correct without actually doing the trigonometry involved. All right, so now I have what I need to do to actually create this roof. So I'm going to go back to my roof tool and I'm going to use the first one, which is roof skillion tool. And there's that, there are tutorials on this particular tool, guys. So take your time to go through them. And I do want this one to be 25 degrees. I need to make sure that my rafter height and sheathing or batten thickness is the same. And whenever you're doing a roof like this, the first thing to do is do the lowest level spot. Because if I started from here, it means the gutter would be here. So I want my gutter along this side here, there. And now when I get to here, you'll notice down here it says enable, disable, overhangs is control. So I'm going to push control now. And it also says, uh, do I want fascia there, uh, which is insert. So no, I'm going to push insert as well. And now I have no fascia and I have no overhang. And I want that here as well, here as well, here as well. Now I do want fascia here, control and insert. I don't want fascia here, insert, control. All right, and bang, I now have my roof. Okay, my roofs are planing now, which means that they're all sitting into my, my, uh, my hip. And over here, this roof is going to be 30 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 30 degrees in my roof. And I'm going to start at my low point again, here. Now, sometimes you can't quite see what's going on there. There's a shortcut that you can use, which is K, which will enable you to see lines, but I think I can just see mine here. Okay, I do want fascia there. I don't want fascia here, so Control, Insert. Same here. Oops, I actually didn't want to go that far. If you ever make a mistake like that, it doesn't matter. Just go Delete, okay? Right, it just went back one move. Right, there and there. Okay, now my roof pitched in as I needed it to do. Right, so that's the best way to create the overhang. You might want to change your overhang. If you don't want your overhangs to, uh, or you do want them to line up, you would also use, okay, well, how much is the distance between here and here? And that will fix that for you as well. In this case, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much all I needed to do. But if I wanted to work out what that overhang would have been on the other side, I'm just going to hide this, right? And now I can figure out what my overhang would be between here and here. So I just go out uh, tape measure on my red axis until I get to here. Now I've got one foot, oh, this is imperial, 
uh, one foot six and seven eighths. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go uh, control Z, bring that back, and I'll just show you one foot six and seven eighths. I don't know why the imperial system has to be so complicated. I'm kind of used to metric. One foot six and seven eighths. Uh, okay, my overhang here will be one foot, one foot six inches, I assume, six and, uh, and seven eighths inch. Submit. Okay, I've obviously written it incorrectly. Obviously, I don't write in. Inches very often. Easy for me to convert to metric would be 1.578. So try that. Sorry guys, I'm a muppet when it comes to <clears throat> metric. <laughs> I'm gonna go one foot seven. You'll still see it be out of touch, but you obviously if you're in America, you will use um, this all the time. Okay. I don't use it, as you can tell. Control, insert, up to here. Enter, right, and now you can see that I have there. Now there's a few bits of tidy up that I need to do. You can see though that, that one eighth of an inch I'm out is still out there, but <clears throat> I think you get the idea. You realize that I have no imperial skills. Uh, okay, there's one other thing that you, you probably need to do is now go back in and add in your, your cappings and flashings. So inside of the roof tool, you can add in special cappings or barges or, you know, flashings inside of your roof and you can add them to your roof if you choose. So I might say, okay, well, I'm going to want a ridge cap and I might want to use it as, I don't know, anything. It doesn't matter. And go submit and I can just go and say, right, okay, well, I'm going to ridge cap here. Uh, poor example, um, and I am using a beta version here as well, guys. So there's a few things that probably aren't as right as they need to be. However, getting your roofs to pitch in, that is how to do it, and it's how to do it well, uh, and still have a parametric. So if I want to change, you know, all of my um, the, the colors of my roof in one go, I would just go and select all of my skillions or sloping roofs. Go to roof, edit roof. And change the, the the texture or the the material that you use on the roof, the roofing material. Uh, material selections and finishes. And I'm going to change it to I don't know something that's easy to see that there's a difference. Yep, submit. Okay, and away I go. Because I selected <clears throat> several at the same time, yet I had different overhangs. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have done them individually. So just Control Z and do them individually. Basically, hope it helps, guys. The key to doing this is just basically keeping an eye on that, that pitching point, right? Because it makes a huge difference. And, and the, the reason why Chris had problems on his model was basically because if I went to here uh, and here and roof, edit roof, you'll notice <clears throat> several things. You'll notice that uh, his height here is probably one inch or I don't know what it is, right? And his height over on the other one is zero. So he still said eight, eight foot nine sixteen, or eight, no, no, whatever it is. And over here, uh, he he didn't have the same distance on his sheathing. And the the reason why this is is because basically uh, when he should have plumbed this through here, so to fix his roof. I need to know the distance from here to here. I need to draw it down onto my floor plane, which would be vertically down there. And I go shift, bang there, and that would be where the roof should have been drawn from. Okay. You can do anything in plus because it's just sometimes it's a matter of figuring out how to do it or watching the tutorials because a lot of this information is in other tutorials. Yet yeah, uh, in this case. This is one we'd overseen, so hopefully it helps you guys out. All right, well, if you've got any questions, look at them below, guys. There's a heap more things you can do. I hope this is a help to you. Cheers.